Hey guys, so many people sent me this one. It was posted by Math Love and it got thousands of likes. So let's do it. First step, I want to focus on this triangle right here. If we call this angle A, we know that A plus 45 plus 43 has to equal 180. And then after we subtract 45 and subtract 43 from both sides, that'll give us A is equal to 92. So we can update this to be 92 degrees. And then next, let's focus on this relationship right here. This is called a linear pair. If we let this angle be n degrees, then we know that n plus 92 is equal to 180 degrees. And after we subtract 92 from both sides, we get n is equal to 88. So we can update this there. And then this angle right here is also 88. You can either think of it as a linear pair with the 92, or you can think of it as vertical angles with this 88. Next, let's focus on this triangle right here. Let's let this angle be D degrees. Then we know that D plus the 88 plus 24 needs to equal 180. And after we subtract 88 and 24 from both sides, we get D is equal to 68. So we can update this to be 68 degrees. And then if we extend this here, we have another linear pair. And if we make this Y degrees, then the Y plus 68 needs to equal 180. And then we can subtract 68 from both sides and we get Y is equal to 112. And next, let's focus on this triangle right here. We can call this angle M, and then once again, we can do all this math, and we find that M is equal to 66. So then we have this linear pair right here, so we know that T plus 66 equals 180, or in other words, T is equal to 114. And now we're down to this convex quadrilateral right here. We know that all four of these angles are going to add to 360 degrees. Well, 112 plus 114 plus 92 is equal to 318. And then after we subtract 318 from both sides, we get X is equal to 42. And that is the answer to the question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.